I definitely dismiss clicked, but I won't say no to thunder. This really does make clearing out the islands a lot faster. Especially now, between the lightning and the explosions, I can't even see what I'm hitting, but it all just gets evaporated. I mean, look at that. Two shovelfuls and there's two things of plastic waiting to be picked up. Believe it or not, there is a method to all this. I think to start today's stupidity, we need the demon pickaxe, which means more electronics. Which definitely seems expensive, but if it's anything like my super shovel, it's gonna be worth it. Also, I'm really not sure I ever saw what liquid luck actually does, so let's find out. Resources drop double items, increased chance of finding rare items. Well, I was already finding a lot of those, so let's see how this goes. I mean, I think I'm finding more stuff, but it's hard to tell. I just find so much stuff with every shovel full now anyway that I really can't tell. But sure, liquid luck seems great. I'm sure I'm finding more stuff. Does it really matter at this point? Probably not. Thanks to my magic shovel, it's time. Can't wait to see what that's gonna do. While we're waiting, what do you suppose a demon scroll does? Oh that. I feel like I just wasted that, but I have no idea what that actually did. The demon pickaxe is done, so happy coincidence. Damage is increased by 375. Things explode when destroyed. I really like the sound of that. So they explode the things around them. The sheep didn't explode. Do animals not explode? No, nope, animals don't explode and people don't explode. Well, let's put this to the test. Yep. Blow up one tree, it blows up everything else around it. And I guess that was the final pickaxe, at least for now. One thing we do apparently need are more of the Great Skulls, which come from Skeleton Land, so we'll buy more Skeleton Islands and hopefully that makes sense. I almost don't need bombs at this point, considering everything I touch blows up on its own. And that even includes a skeleton, so it's like a chain reaction. And as per usual, I'm rewarded for indiscriminately blowing up everything ever with a large chest. And guess who's got a surplus of keys for once? And because I'm so stupid, I've got to go and eat that orb right now or I'm going to forget about it forever. Tempted to do the level up, considering I I just leveled up and it's getting harder and harder to do. But let's actually go for energy this time. And while we're here, a bigger backpack will do. I assume this was actually very expensive. But for more inventory slots, do you have a great skull? I would happily murder you if you did. These skeletons are becoming a big problem. Not for me, they're not. It would be great if you could help me get rid of them. Well, you know what? This is actually a task that I would like to do. Bring me 100 bones and I will reward you. Pretty sure I already have those. You did it. That was quick. I only doubted you up until the end. I'm still doubting you. Give me my stuff. Here's your reward. Okay, can I move? Again, that could have landed on my head and trapped me forever. Our reward is a skull key. Opens all treasure chests for free. Yeah, fine, I'll take it. Lumberjacking obelisk. Gain XP from chopping down trees. Bonus XP. Oh goody. This looks like someone else's life work that I can destroy. What is it exactly? Well, I'm gonna keep hitting it. It's a chest. Okay, it'll thaw out. I've got time for this. Sure I do. There it is. Not sure I would consider that one a puzzle. Another edible. Great. Circling back to my base, I forget what I'm building. I think we might as well do the huge wallet because you can never be too rich and all I need to do is lavender and that's really my main motivation. I don't want to work that hard. I forgot about this guy. Well, it better be worth it because that's actually really expensive. Thank you for the materials. Please give me something worth my while. This is complicated work so you probably wouldn't understand but factories need steel to make cool things. Yeah, I actually have it on my own that I built and maintained all by myself like an adult. Here's your reward. That was 10 royal steel. This better be the most amazing treasure. That was not worth 10 royal steel. You really suck. But I get to use his factory actually, so that's kind of worth it. I remember now I was building this thing and apparently I accomplished that. So there we go. Not going to get distracted. Literally going to sit here and watch it finish. Gain 125% more resources because I never have enough. And that's about it for the forge upgrades. But we can always do more at the sewing station. We'll start with what we can actually build. Not sure what that costed. It's fine. That was quick. Attack speed increased by 40%. I wonder if that includes pickaxe swing speed. I just got the notification. Vacation, I've now crafted 10,000 items and I still have no idea what it is I'm doing. One huge wallet please, that's gonna make buying the rest of everything a lot easier. Should probably also take my skill perk that I've been waiting for for an hour. And I really have no idea what it is I want to build now. I'm thinking shrines just because I don't have any magic stuff yet and shrines are hopefully somewhat helpful. Which leads me to this one which might have an exploit in it. Alright new building, tell me your secrets. Royal steel, yeah I can build that already. Here we go. So what is it you do and why should I care? Uh, huge wallet is done, thanks for the interruption 125 percent coins get out of the way let me use my thing or you know because the wallet showed up it just picked for me so that's cool i don't know what boon i have but i got one for 45 minutes seeing as the next things to build are all pretty expensive we're gonna go buy more islands and you know what we've actually almost got them all the only ones left are in the bottom right it's actually these six i believe are the final ones how much are these gonna cost i can't even see behind the text well, you know what? We'll just go for it anyway. Those are burning chests on them. Uh, that one's 25,000 in itself. We're not quite gonna have enough money for this yet. We just can't afford the last one. But that's okay. We only need another 16,000 gold. I'll probably have that by the time I explore those. We're gonna start with these and, uh... 
nothing happens. I'm thinking we probably need something involved with water or ice. There is a secret where the flowers don't live. Well, let me guess. Is it right here where there's no flowers? Do I dig it up? Well, there's a secret here. But until I find a way to get it, it's going to remain a secret. Oh, okay. I found it. I was digging stuff up and a chest showed up. Another one of these? How useful. I can never have too much health or energy. I've actually managed to affect three of these and I didn't even notice. Honestly, I'm taking the level ups for now. Is this a good idea? Probably not, but just like that, there's three very hard earned skill points. I'm really curious to see what the flower press is. It sounds kind of useless and I don't think I've needed it yet, but just in case it's one of those things that's super awesome, well, there it is. And how about some sprinklers to go with our farms that don't exist yet? Mostly because I want to unlock what's down around that. Being 20% more energy when eating sounds handy. Expert level scrolls. Yeah, we'll take that. Why not? My number one rule, touch first, ask questions later. It's a boon. We get a choice. Lose one max heart, gain a bunch of demonic magic scrolls, or lose one heart, gain a bunch of potions. Scrolls sound fun. We gain a bunch more demon scrolls, which do this. I kind of regret my decision. That seems to just kind of blow up things in the area, and I basically already do that by doing nothing. Finally, a pickaxe shrine. This only took me to the very end of the islands. Gain bonus XP for mining. Wish I found that 10 years ago. I've done a lot of mining. But since we can get some free and easy experience right now, let's just bomb the entire world. Everywhere there's a cluster of rocks, it gets a bomb. I've also just realized for the first time that I can bottle water. So... That would be how you put out fires with bottled water. Do these chests have anything worthwhile? Probably not. The first two had gems. Gems, gems. And a big chest? Nope, just gems. Since you helped me, I want to help you. Wow, that's a first. I can make a rare form of clothing that will make animals love you forever. Lady, there's nothing in this universe that will make animals love me forever. Bring me the materials and I will make it for you. 10 out of 12. 10 out of 2. Yeah, whatever here. This is perfect. Here you go, friend. Whoa, let's pump the brakes on that before you drop a giant chest on my head. Animals drop 25% more resources and spawn much more often. And I get to wear a pretty pink bow. And I already forgot about my flower press. I might as well build one of those. They're cheap enough. Hopefully they do something outrageously amazing. Flower press can do all of this. Landfill. All it takes is some sand and poop when you can make landfill. Interesting way to gather resources. I kind of wish I had this earlier in the game for sand. But currently, nothing really of interest. What did I say that last island costs? I'm back up to almost 25,000 gold. I think that was enough. If it's not, I'm pretty sure I've got something else I can sell for at least a few dollars. Buy for 25,169. So I need like 200 gold. Definitely got a lot of options of what I can be selling right now. You know what? Instead of putting any thought or effort into this, I'm just going to go back and touch on my banks one more time. And I'm pretty sure that's actually just going to give me the amount of money I need. All right, game. I'm ready for my huge reward for unlocking all of the islands. We're going to do that. Whoops. Right now. Buy every land. And reward a viking man hey look it's another one of those boom things hopefully i actually get to pick it this time and it doesn't pick for me and wouldn't you know it another old person talk to every npc oh didn't know i already got that out of the way i don't like you please leave me alone i like this guy we get a boon sell items at double the price purchasing lands cost half the amount well since we bought all the lands merchant it is i thought there might be a slightly bigger reward for unlocking all of the islands i guess i probably should have unlocked inscription before the ability to make scrolls because i can't do that until i have this perk so while we're waiting for stuff to happen. Let's see what's going on in here. This is called the Skull Maze. I believe it's considered basically a dungeon. So far, I'm not feeling particularly intimidated. So I might have to wander all the way through to light the torches. Oh look, a skeleton. Whatever will I do? Does anyone else feel like there's something right there? Even my shadow going beyond shows there's like something there. Bomb? Open it up for me. Oh, I was right. Yeah, I played Zelda before. Here we go, a nice little secret. Oh, I was hoping for something a lot better. Let me guess, gems? Yep, not sure if I have to light all the torches along the way, but I'm going to. And despite all the skeletons, I haven't found any big ones yet, and I need great skulls to accomplish whatever it is I'm trying to do. My only real hope at this point is that once I hit the end, it teleports me back to the beginning. I don't really want to have to walk my way out of here. Here's a big one. I'm ready to feel a little bit overpowered in here though, considering nothing in here is actually capable of hurting me. Me, on the other hand, I obliterate everything in a big hurry. And I don't even have a sword. A big blue chest. Well, that's a new one. Wonder what's in there. Necro rod. It looks like an ice cream scoop. Use it to summon skeletons. Yeah, that sounds like fun. I see a big one. A few big ones. We gotta go get those guys. And done. How many big skulls is that? Hopefully lots. Another blue chest. Complete the skull maze. A skull seal. Awarded to those who beat the skull maze. And one more max HP. And it takes me out of the maze. I wasn't done. Or I guess I was. This is a boon I like. Industrious. All structures work twice as fast. Gain XP when crafting items. Well, that sounds good for me. But I do think it only lasts about a minute. But I'll sit here and take that experience all day long. I can now do this. That's right. 
That's a skeleton that I summoned. I decided to take the lazy approach and stand here for an hour. I managed to level up once, all while doing nothing, so that works. As far as the skills go, inscription tables is probably a good idea, that way I can actually utilize that endgame perk. Obviously a very basic item, 9 wood, 15 brick. Probably should have had one of these years ago. And I still can't really do anything with these, and I don't even know what they do. I've never ever seen a moldy book before, so I'm really curious about that. And just like that, it's ready to go. Does it seriously take that long? That's okay, I know how to keep myself busy. And the book is done. XP gain increased by 15%. That's actually huge. Again, something I probably should have had from the very beginning of the game, so we're going to keep building these as quick as we can. The next one's already good to go. They are going to get more expensive, but boy, 15% experience in itself is huge. And the slimy tome is done. XP gained increased by 30%. Royal clothing, paper, bones, the Necronomicon. I'll take one. That was quick. XP gained increased by 45%. That is huge. That's basically 50% more experience than I had 10 minutes ago. This one's going to be a little bit more expensive. Five fiberglass is is crazy expensive, but that's going to be worth it. Now that I think about it, I actually have a spare factory for you somewhere down here. So I can be making the fiberglass all at the same time. How many did I need? Of course. Well, I can get three for now. I just need more royal clothing and we'll make the last one for whatever it is we're building. Because we just continually gather everything, I've already got enough for that. Back to the waiting game. And there it is. XP gain increased by 60%. That is enormous, especially at this point in the game. And there's still more I can build. All I need is paper and fiberglass. I definitely dismiss clicked, but I won't say no to thunder. What I meant to do was eat something. And I guess we'll just get a little bit of extra experience for a little while. This really does make clearing out the islands a lot faster. Especially now, between the lightning and the explosions, I can't even see what I'm hitting, but it all just gets evaporated. And I just realized this island actually has pillars on it, which obviously just take gems. And it's just as simple as that. One more big chest, I assume it has another one of the orbs, which would be great, because I'll simply take a level up. I think I'm actually going to go for the expert potions. Partially because I just want to see what this unlocks. Inscription tables work 50% faster. Cauldrons work 50% faster. Well, that one kind of sucks, but hopefully the potions are worthwhile. It's funny because the hardest thing to gather right now is flowers because they're not sprouting fast enough. They're so fast to harvest and so quick to get that they're just not growing fast enough. But I definitely need more to get the paper to make the book. I wonder what a windmill actually does. Pretty sure I could have built that from like the first five minutes I played. I'm wondering if something now in the farming department will help me find more flowers and more paper ingredients. And here's all those expert potions we should be paying attention to. Ready makes sure boosts your luck and is delayed as animals. I can't remember what that one does and I'm not sure I've ever seen this one. Apparently, I have five of them. That Fury Cocktail, though, that sounds like fun. I need to find that. Oh yeah, so I do. What does this do? Enraged. Attacks deal double damage. Killing things causes explosions. Well, I already had explosions. Does this mean double explosions? Come here. Not with chickens. We need to find some skeletons, and I know just where to look. Or even these guys. Well, things are already blowing up, so this potion doesn't really have a lot of use for me. The double damage is nice, but again, I was already doing too much damage, and I'm using a pickaxe. Long overdue, but there we go. Hopefully that's not in the way. What do you do? This is where I get seeds of that farm I tried to start like 100 years ago, and this hard-to-see idiot wants 30 saplings. Good thing I've collected a lot of citrus along the way. We're gonna go for 100 saplings. And wouldn't you know it, suddenly there's tree saplings available to buy, but I think I can at least buy a bomb, and this stuff to make more bombs. Well, I'd say I made these myself, but that would be a lie. Here, take them. Thank you so much. We have saved the forest from those guys with pickaxes. Yep, that's me. Two little chests. What would I do without these things? And gems of which I have billions of. I saved the planet and that's all I get. Hello, friend. I have a final quest for you. I'm glad to hear that. It involves finding a rare dinosaur egg. Again, I found like eight of those. If I can get this egg, I will be able to raise and protect the creature. Dino friends are the best friends. Well, they're better than you are. Here you go. I've got nine of those. Thank you so much. I promise I will keep him safe from harm. His name will be Tony. Can I have Tony? And another orb. Please don't chop down all the trees. Well, should have said something hours ago. And we're going to take another level because I'm lazy. Which means supply perk. Market sell more items. And I'm really finding that useful right now because I need a lot of the basic items that just don't spawn fast enough. So now instead of three empty slots, we have six empty slots. Yay! For a short while, we're going to have double XP and instantly gain random magical scrolls because that's the number one on my priority list always. Since I'm waiting and have an abundance of saplings anyway, what do they actually do? I'm doing 56 of them. I just make trees. I 
guess that's fine. Sure. Gotta do something with them. I'm sure that's gonna come back to annoy me in about 10 minutes. Hey, look at that. My saplings grew into trees. How helpful to everything I'm doing. And this is why I got more items to the market. There's 100 flowers that I very badly need. Slimes I'll take. Sand is good too. And I don't even have room for all this stuff. That should get me to where I need to be with the paper. Really hoping this is worth the effort. And there it is. XP gain increased by 75%. And that's apparently as good as it gets. So you know what that means, right? If I stand here for the next 24 hours, I should level up a few more times. 